here we have the PCB of our analog amplifier board we are going to assemble it right now first we will start with the power supply section uh, that would be this one uh, the capacitor C6 capacitor C5 and the power section I mean the power connector which will be a ballistic connector and the diode D1 this one would provide power to the IC1 so we will start by assembling the power supply section first after that we will assemble one of the uh, amplifier section so that we can check it whether everything is working or not so we will go for the power supply section first so we need the capacitor C6 here is the electrode capacitor C6 uh, which has to go here now you can check for the negative terminal here the white one which you will have to insert it here like this and the other one you require is the 100 and of capacitor that would be the disk capacitor this one one second this capacitor and it will have the value 104 written on it so you can put it here now the other thing is the diode uh, 195819 which is a short key diode uh, we are using it because we don't we want we don't want the polarities to be reversed because the reverse polarity will damage the IC if you check the data sheet it's written there so you need to align the white line I don't know whether you can see it here uh, towards the white line here here D1 this one so like this Now we'll solder this. I need to get a proxy connector also. We'll put the three pin proxy connector here. This is for connecting the LM35 amplifier. And the two pin proxy here. This is for the power. This is for connecting the LM35. Now we have assembled the power supply section. Now we will assemble the amplifier section at the ICU1, R6, R3, and J3 connector. Here from the BOM, you can find out that R3 is 10K, this one, and the R6 is 27K. So we will use the IC first. 
this is the LM 324 IC uh, when you are putting in the board make sure that the notch the tip this one this one and this one are aligned these two Now you have to find R3, here R3 is 10k, so so the R3 will have, first one will be brown band, second one will be red band, and third one is an orange band, so it will be 10k. Next one we require is 27k, for that we will use this one. So we have the first band as red, second one will be violet, 27, and the third one will be orange, 10 raised to 3, so 10k, I mean 27k. Now from the bomb, R3 is 10k, so you can take the resistor, bend it. Now R6 is 27k, so we will put it here. Now we will solder this. We will use this 3 pin birthstick connector for connecting the LM35. We will solder it near J3 so that we can easily plug or unplug the connector as we recall. We will um, solder the C3 capacitor later. Now we have assembled this part of the circuit. We have assembled the IC which is this one and the resistors R6 and R3. Uh, we will assemble R11 and R12 later. This is the potential divider which will reduce the voltage by half. Now J3 is the connector to which we will connect the LM35. We can also solder the LM35 directly to the board like this if you want. But, but since this is a four channel board, you can will use a wire so that they can be placed at separate places so that you can measure different temperature from different places. So this is the LM35 IC and the first pin will be the plus 5 volt. This one and the second will be the signal V out and the third one will be the ground. We will use a shielded cable uh, to connect the sensor LM35 to the board. Since the signal produced by LM35 is very low, it's much better to use a shielded cable. When you are using a shielded cable, uh, make sure that the cable shield is connected to the ground. So 
so I have a cable like this here this is a two core shielded cable um, this is the shield which I have made it into, into this wire and the red one is we will connect that to the plus 5 volt and the black one will be the signal okay so on the other side I have not changed it this is how it will look now you will have to remove the shield like this pull it out then turn it like this And you should solder it so that it will look nice. So I have soldered the LM35 to a shielded wire, as you can see here, and the, on the other hand, I have connected that to a small connector like this and now you can plug it like this the whole thing looks like this you can place the sensor wherever you want it and then you can sense the signal from here So I have completed the assembly of all the four op amps. I have soldered all the feedback resistors for all the four of the op amps here. I have also connected the input pin for the LM35 as you can see from here. All the four are there. I have also mounted the capacitor C3 and the other one I have not mounted because I want to check how the capacitor C3 is going to affect the signal and the output can be taken from here. AN1 corresponds to this one, you will get the amplified signal here, AN1 for this one. Now I will have to assemble the potential divider here, which I will do it after testing. So now we will solder the 10K potential divider resistors and the JFI connector. So you can take the 10K resistor, that would be this one and you put it here and here, all these things will be populated and the potential divider will be complete. So whatever the voltage is there, half of it will come here. So I have completed assembling the board. Now all the parts of the board are complete. I have washed the board as you can see from the behind. I have also created the LM35 temperature props. Uh, this will plug it here. There are four of them. Uh, regarding the capacitor, I have kept one and the other I have left empty. Because I want to see whether the use of capacitor is causing any issues. When I tested it initially, uh, the line containing the capacitor, has, capacitor was having a lot of noise issues. While the one that does not have capacitor is not having any issues. So I will check it later. Uh, in the next video, we will see how to interface this board with the uh, Arduino platform. And then we will read the data into the computer through serial port from all the four LM35 channels.
so if you like this video do like subscribe and comment if you have any doubts do put that in the comments you can find the uh, circuit diagram and other kite card project files in the description thank you